On New Year's Eve 1948, the Northwestern football team was hours away from making its first ever bowl appearance at the Rose Bowl. Even as the seventh ranked team in the country, the Wildcats were underdogs against an undefeated University of California squad coached by Pappy Waldorf, who had left Evanston for Cal just two years earlier. Northwestern head coach Bob Voigts, who himself had played under Waldorf at NU, wanted to make sure his team wasn't going to be distracted by all the storylines surrounding the game. The day before the game, we always put on our game uniforms without pads and we'd run through a few things. And for the very first time, we went into the Rose Bowl. After we were done, uh, Voights had us all standing around him. He was in the middle and what he asked us to do is he, he wanted us to, to step out and look all over the Rose Bowl. He says, take a good look at it. He says, because I don't want you looking at it tomorrow. And then the, the, the second thing he did is he said, if you lose, it's a long ride home. Thousands of Northwestern fans had made that long train ride to Pasadena and were thrilled when a 73-yard touchdown from Frank Ashenbrenner helped NU to a 13-7 halftime lead. But in the third quarter, the Wildcats seemed to lose some of that focus. The second half, we just were dead. That's when California went ahead of us and it got down to the end of the fourth quarter and we only had about five minutes left, in my opinion. Uh, Frank Ashenbriner won the ball game for us. Frank was just, he charged to get out of, out of bounds and stop the clock, and then he'd tear out of that uh, tackle and, and run back into that huddle. He just picked us up. The time Ashenbrenner conserved was just enough for Northwestern to march down the field on an 88-yard drive capped off when Ed Tunnicliffe fought his way 43 yards to the end zone. It was a uh, trick play off of a regular T formation when Sarkeesian snapped the ball, which instead of going to the quarterback, as it normally did, was snapped directly to me. I had to take two steps parallel to the line of scrimmage because our right end is the only person that blocked anybody in the line. Everybody else in the line just headed downfield. It was just a, a nice run uh, down the sideline. And here comes this guy, Frank Bronk. I knew he was gonna hit me. It just ran through my mind. I'm gonna get to that end zone if I have to carry the whole stadium. He down to the 10, the five is over! I think if he'd have gone for my legs, I, I wouldn't have scored. But fortunately, he, he jumped on my back on the seven. And I was able to, able to get there, <laughs> but uh, just barely. Tunnicliffe's touchdown was the difference in a 20 to 14 Wildcat win on college football's biggest stage. And while Northwestern fans celebrated the upset, the man who won the game says the players never had a doubt. The Rose Bowl is the granddaddy of them all. And uh, playing there is, it, it was such a privilege. And uh, so, no, there wasn't tension. There was just uh, expectations of, of winning that ball game. 